In Division 4, the Ottawa-Glandorf District comes down to the top two seeds, Arlington and Ottoville. Neither team had much trouble in their first three playoff games. Arlington is coming off Thursday's 21-point win over Delphi St. John's, while Ottoville took care of Lipsick by 24. And this district final is a rematch from December when the Le Lady Red Devils defeated the Lady Green by 12. Great atmosphere at the Supreme Court. Both fan bases came out ready for a great game, and that's exactly what they got. Fourth quarter tied at 33. Whitney Dodds with the steal and the score. Arlington leads with four minutes to go. Other end, Alexis Thorben answers with a corner triple. Nothing but net. Big Green are in front by one. Back and forth action. Great passing by Arlington as Alex Russell goes to Sierra Nichols. Two minutes to play now. Arlington leads by three. Alicia Honigford on the offensive glass, the putback plus the foul, the huge and one, and we're tied again. Less than a minute to go, 42-41 Red Devils. That's C.J. Kemper giving Ottoville the lead. Last chance for Arlington, Megan Johnson to Nichols. She lays it in with 1.8 seconds left, and that is the game winner. Arlington claims the district title in a thriller. 24 points, 11 rebounds for Nichols, and no two points were more important than those last two. You know, she's been playing great the last couple weeks, and she was awesome today. That's why we struggled in the third quarter. She was sitting on the bench. We aren't as good when she's not in the game. And, uh, you know, she, Megan Johnson made a great play there at the end, too. It feels amazing. I mean, we're accomplishing goals, and hopefully we can win regionals. Couldn't have done it without Megan Johnson with the pass. Just get it just down the floor as quick as we can and get what we could. And she was open. Just threw it to her and she finished it and that was awesome. It was what we wanted. This is what we look forward to all season and to actually get it is awesome. A lot of teams don't. These are two state quali caliber teams. It's unfortunate somebody had to go home this early, but uh, I'm glad we're moving on.